You hate ads, I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this channel ad free. Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. I'm Mike and today we have an unboxing from a new store to me. This is from Kawaii Pen Shop, which it turns out is in Hong Kong. Uh, and uh, wait, let me check that, yeah. Hong Kong, and I didn't even notice that when I was ordering because uh, the shipping was totally reasonable. Uh, it might have even been free. I don't even remember. I was just like, yeah, that seems fine. Let's do it. And so uh, Audrey found this shop for me, and uh, we put it, we like, uh, like just couldn't stop shopping. So I decided to buy some stuff. So let's get in here using my uh, little Spyderco Para 3. Get in there. There we go. Good. All right. All right, so this is a bunch of fun stuff. The first thing is this fun little thermos, and this was actually, this is actually a sort of pack-in if you spent, actually I think it's if you ordered anything during this little sale they were having right there. This is a 280 mil vacuum flask with this like, little rabbit. It was um, one of those things where there's several different flask designs you might get, and they were like, yeah, you can't order a specific one, we will throw one in for you when you order today. So, uh, I did that, uh, because Audrey really wanted this little flask, and uh, this one is super cute. Look at this fun little, this fun little uh, rabbity person up in the lid. Let's open it up. Yeah, perfectly nice. This is a nice little uh, cup for your hot or cold cold beverages. Oh, real cute. That's gonna be it's gonna be a fun thing for Audrey to see when she gets home. All right, let's see what else is in here. I look, I might have gone a little overboard on things like stickers and washi and stuff like that, um, be and like paper. I got a couple of pens because like they had such fun stuff. Is there a packing slip in here? Let's see if I can give you names for things. I don't actually see a packing slip anywhere in here. Maybe we'll find it when we get in here, but we'll uh, we'll wait. We'll wait. Let's uh, look at these two things first. This is a little bit of uh, this is a washi tape from Mindwave, and it just looked too cool to not have. It's a clear tape with little pictures of bouquets on it. Let me, let me open this up. How do I, how do I get in here? Is there an edge? Uh, oh, oh, this feels like an edge. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, there we go. Maybe. There were several in their collection from this Mindwave uh, set that were just super cool and some of them were selling out while I was putting stuff in my cart So uh, there was one that was like blue and pink like waves like this on a clear tape And I just thought these were super neat and also my idea is to kind of like cut these out and use them as a sticker So you can uh, see it is a definitely a clear tape. It has kind of a it's got kind of a scotch tape sort of Stickiness to it, but it's not going to tear itself apart because it's plastic. So that's nice and my idea is to kind of you know, just cut them into little individual bits and they'll go on, you know, the covers of things or in my journal or my commonplace book or on the front of a letter or something like that. But these are extremely pretty and none of these were terribly expensive, um, but uh, very nice quality washi tape. It's not, if it actually counts as washi, I mean, it's not paper, so maybe it doesn't. I don't know. And this was six bucks for this beautiful, this beautiful washi tape stuff. That's like six bucks for, I don't know, that many stickers. It's pretty good. So I'm going to enjoy that. And that seems like a really reasonable price for some washi tape. Uh, this this is a My Neighbor Totoro stamp. Totoro in the frame. And I had to get this stamp just because, I mean, look how adorable that is. Let me find uh, let me find some stamp pad. Uh, let me find a stamp pad. I want to try this out. All right, I grabbed one of my Kikuyo soft ring notepads. Uh, let's go ahead and I'll just use the back of one of these because like why not? I'm not trying to be fancy and I've got here a Versa Magic Dew Drop uh, stamp pad. I don't know if this stamp pad has any, has any ink left in it, but we're fixing to find out. Must have at least a little bit. This is a stamp that I saw and I'm like, Audrey, look at this. And she's like, yeah, I know. That was one of the first things I saw. Uh, and so we had to get it. So here we go. Totoro. <laughs> that is great. I'm going to use... I'm going to overuse this stamp, I think, because... That looks awesome. Now, I know nothing about My Neighbor Totoro, but this does make me want to find out things about My Neighbor Totoro. Uh, now, I guess I have to find out because look at this rabbit's grin. I love it. All right, that's all the stuff that was in this bag. Let me just check this bag over here. But very nice shipping, very nice shipping package. All right, let's get into this thing. Does it have a, aha. Uh -huh. They have packaged this up very nicely, actually. It is definitely not in any danger. 
even shipping from Hong Kong. And it shipped uh, reasonably quickly. And also, I just noticed on my receipt that I found online that it was uh, free shipping. So that's why I didn't even bother to check where Kawhi Pin Shop was because, like, whatever, it's free shipping. I don't. It's fine. All right. Uh, so some of these, some of these, I may have like audibly made uh, silly noises about <laughs> when I found them online. Uh, this is not one of them. But this is something I wanted to try out. This was the most expensive thing in the pack at ten ninety nine. Uh, by the way, that stamp over here is also six bucks. So six bucks for the washi, six bucks for the fun rabbit face stamp. This was $10.99, but it was a thing that I hadn't seen before, and so I wanted to try it out, and that is, this is a Pilot Friction Slim three-color erasable multi-pen in 0.38 millimeters. So I wanted to try this out because the Friction pens are extremely popular in some communities uh, and some places, but the early ones just didn't impress me, and so I kind of like ignored them forever and I tried another one recently and I was like oh this has actually gotten a lot better so I want to try it out and you know I'm a huge sucker for a multi-pen so uh, that was a no-brainer so let's try this one out we have here I think it's probably black blue and red but this black looks gray so we'll see if it's actually a black or not pilot friction yeah it's kind of a gray actually which is totally fine I mean the little tab that I pushed down definitely looks gray and it certainly looks like a gray so that's pretty good. The line weight is pretty okay. It is a 0.38. I'm getting a little bit of uh, a little bit of railroading here and there, but it's so small. Like it's such a fine nib that or point that maybe that doesn't really matter. Like you're not going to care about that. That's not what you're using a friction for is to write a bunch of permanent stuff that looks amazing to everybody. So uh, let's do blue. I can totally see myself using these friction pens for um, things in my planner or things that might uh, o t that might need to change uh, because right now when I write stuff in a planner and it might be stuff that needs to change I might use like a little uh, I might use one of these just a little little tiny sticky note from Kukuyo that I got a while back and I have like even smaller ones for like <laughs> for even smaller things and that means I can just rearrange those or move them as I need to so. Um, all right, let's uh, take a look at these real close up. The blue and the red look a little bit stronger in terms of line weight than the black, but you do still get a little bit, actually a little bit of a uh, little bit of railroading in a couple of places. Let's use the eraser right quick. Now this doesn't actually erase the. Oh wow, that worked immediately. That is. That is a huge improvement over the original frictions, I think. I have a video on my channel that is very old, but it um, shows how you can make friction ink disappear with heat because you're not actually using up the eraser end here because it's not a rubber eraser. It's just kind of a thing that will get slightly warm with friction and the heat makes the ink disappear. A trick with this is if you want to make all of it disappear, just like hold it near a stove burner real quick, like an electric one or something, or just like a warm heat source, and it, uh, or leave it in your hot car in the summer, and it will wipe the, the ink. But if you want to get that ink back, throw the thing in your freezer for a little while, and the cold will at least partially bring back your writing. So it won't ever look as good as it started, but it will bring your writing back, which is a pretty neat trick. So if you're a person who wrote a bunch of stuff with friction and then left you in your hot car and it all disappeared, throw it in the freezer, and you'll probably be okay. It'll, it'll come back. So... 0.38, I think is I think it's pretty good. I was worried this is going to be much too small, but some of my uh, some of my to do lists and task things uh, and like task trackers and stuff like that are pretty darn small in terms of like the space they give you to write, and it's going to be really handy to be able to erase these. And these erase like very well. I keep, I keep missing the line. I'm looking at the screen and not at my fingers. There we go. Yeah, it erases super well. It writes very nicely. So yeah, pretty good. Let's look at the inserts or the refills here just to, just out of curiosity. Yeah, that's what they look like. So they look like a non-standard one. I'm not going to be able to find one of these in, um, you know, probably other other styles. This is, this is the only one I have that looks like this. Uh, how much ink is in here? Yeah, fair amount. It is inked. Uh, there is ink up to here. So look, you're not going to write a novel with this just because it is a gel pen and that sort of thing. But uh, it could be could be very useful. Hi, hi, Mr. Nose. We have a we have a cat we have a cat joining us here on our on our desk, buddy. Um, I'm doing a video here. Do you mind? Do you mind? No, you don't mind. Here here's what his face looks like. It looks like that. Okay, time to get down, pal. There we go. All right, cat invasion uh, dealt with, handled. <laughs> All right, and the other uh, multi-pen that I got, in fact, the only pens I got were multi-pens in this pack. This is a Zebra Blend three-color multi uh, ballpoint multi-pen. Uh, this was $6.99, and I have tried some blends before, and I know that these are gaining some popularity, and I'm glad to see that because 
they're pretty good. I think when I did the video for it, I'm like, yeah, it's okay. I have grown to like it more over time. And here's my original zebra blend. They do have a little, little cat fur on that one. They do have a rubbery section here uh, to grip onto, which feels really nice. But as you can see, it will pick up a little bit of grunge and like, uh, if you have if you have it like near your pencils or if you have some pencil on your fingers or anything It will eventually sort of grunge the grip up a little bit. You can see that Probably these were the same when I got them. Well, I don't know actually this is a little bit It's a little bit creamier to begin with so maybe it was just kind of a different color But you know, uh, it's got this very stylish look to it. I like the clip and everything It's pretty good and I've gotten used to writing with that one a bit more and I like it more now uh, Here the clip is different. The clip is built into the body which makes sense since it is a, uh, a multi-pen You have this interesting like plastic insert up here at the tip. I wonder if that's to combat tip rattle Let's see what it looks like on the inside yeah, it might be there to combat some tip rattle of the metal bits against the other metal bit here on the outside. Uh, we'll just have to see how that feels. Well, let's look at the you know, ink while we're in here, because why not? There you go. This is a, uh, these are ball points, I believe. This is probably a ball point, right? Yeah, this is a ball point. Uh, so this will last longer than that gel pen for sure, because gel just runs out much more quickly than ball points. Zebra SNC 0.5. I wasn't actually sure how... Uh, how wide the ballpoint was going to be because I don't think it's said on the site or at least it doesn't say here on my receipt So let's look at how this one writes Do I need to oh that feels interesting? Ooh, so we got this blend thing on the back. This is this is a pretty cool looking situation And when I put that in I was like, oh, that's a that's a whole different feel. That's it's like a little bit rubbery up here on the tip That's fun Feels good zero. Oh three C point five. That's uh, that's that's where I would have found out that information uh, that feels it's very slick. I like that. And then blue. So uh, red, black, blue. Very classic combination. Uh, zebra blend. Is it zebra? Am I making things up? Yeah, zebra. All right. So there's our blend writing. And I'm not seeing any railroading. I'm not seeing any skips. I do see a little bit of a, a little bit of a tail there. Where there's a little bit of um, you know ballpoint uh, ink there because ballpoint ink is uh, an oil-based thing, and so sometimes it can be a little bit um, sticky, a little bit. <laughs> Mr. Nose trying to invade again. It can be a little bit sticky, and so sometimes if you're writing something, you can sometimes get a little bit that will come up, but uh, no smearing of any kind. So that's really nice. It doesn't have any like gooping or anything like that. Sometimes you get with uh, some ball points and some gel pins. So yeah, overall very happy with those. I think they came out really well. That blue is striking. I really like that blue color. The black is perfectly fine. Red is perfectly serviceable. If like not the most interesting red or the most bold red, a little bit better than the friction red though, I think it's a little bit brighter than the friction red. So yeah, pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. All right, happy with both of those purchases, I think. All right, this is the thing that made me go, oh my God, I have to have it, uh, and make um, decidedly silly noises. Uh, this was, uh, this is Japanese, these are kawaii Japanese hamster stickers. This is uh, six bucks. There are 38 pieces of uh, stickers in here. These are sticker flakes, is what they're called. Little flake stickers are not on a, uh, not on a, a pad or a roll or anything like that. They're just little stickers and they are individual. Look at this little hamster. Sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to get the paper off the back of these, but I'm not too worried about that. These are, look, look at these things. Mr. Nose, I know there's a hamster here, but no, you can't come up and play with it. <laughs> Goodness, he is really being a terror today. You're being a terror. Don't talk to me about it. All right, we have, uh, oh man, just, just look at these little, look at these little things. How is it, how is it legal to be this adorable? I, I mean, I should have gotten more. Cause, oh man, look at, look at, look at these little, look at this. This one's having an idea. Mr. Nose. Just, uh, this one's sleepy. Uh, <laughs> this one is, is this two of them freaking out about popcorn maybe? I don't know. That one's just kind of a little round boy, a little fluffer. I, I love these and um, I am very I'm very happy with these. I will jealously guard these and <laughs> use them. No, I will be using these with wild abandon because that is my new policy with stickers is use stickers uh, all the time. All right, let's put these back. But hamster stickers, kawaii hamster, st hamster stickers, 38, 38 of them for six bucks. There were, goodness, get there. 
Uh, there were several other styles, but some of them were sold out, and this was undoubtedly the cutest. So, uh, if anything, I was undercharged for those. Oh, so good. All right, we'll put you there. Come back to you later. All right, which one is this? <laughs> this is another thing I had to have, and this is a uh, stand stick marker is what it says, but this is basically um, like a like a like a sticker pad, like a like a post-it note sort of situation. It stands up. This one, it says, is Mind Wave Animal Stand Sticky Notes. It says this is a hamster. This is definitely not a hamster. This is a squirrel. I was hoping it was going to be a squirrel. It said hamster on the, on the site, and I'm like, I don't know. I want this squirrel one, though, because how much fun is this little squirrel who is for sure shaped like an acorn or something, but that's not a hamster. Like, I mean, witness the differences. It's got a long tail, unlike any hamster that I know of, so... That's pretty cool. It doesn't say hamster anywhere on here. It definitely is a squirrel. Yeah, man, that's a squirrel. Uh, all right, let's see if I can write on this, actually. Oh, where is the... Oh, here we go. Uh, the sticky parts at the bottom. That's fun. That's fun. All right, I'll put this here. Let's do a ballpoint. Great. Let's do a gel. Pretty good. Let's do a fountain pen for funsies. Hey, that actually worked really well. Let's look at it up close. Yeah, yeah, no real problems with the fountain pen. I mean, it's not dry yet. Uh, it might have a little bit of a dry time issue. Well, actually, is it dry now? It wasn't quite dry. A little bit of it came up, but if I waited just a few more seconds, I think that would have finished drying. Didn't bleed through, didn't do any weird feathering or anything like that. So, yeah, I think you can use a fountain pen with this with no problem at all, which is very handy. Let's try another fountain pen just for funsies, see how it works out. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> or just some or just some fun hair. Look, I'm not an artist. Uh, the mustache drawing did go through for sure, but like I really kind of also put it in there. Um, yeah, no uh, no problems with this. I think you can use a fountain pen on this with no issues. Yeah, that's fun. And that's dried now. Are you dried over the top? Yeah, yeah. This is all dried too. So it actually dries pretty quickly. Works well with, with ballpoint. Yeah, good. Uh, I'm very happy with these little squirrel stickers. Uh, regardless of whether or not they are calling them uh, they are calling them hamsters or not, this is for sure a squirrel. And uh, so this little guy was adorable. Also, six bucks. A lot of a lot of six buck things going on here. Our right, little <laughs> squirrel with his hairdo up here. All right, ah, these. This is another thing that I made unseemly noise, noises about. And this is Sumiko, Guru, Sumiko Garashi sticker pack number one. Uh, pork cutlet, six bucks. I, I, have, I have a big plush of this that is behind me in all of my live streams and stuff like that. Uh, I love the Sumiko Garashi figures. They are just so fun. This one, his character description is he's a pork cutlet, a fried pork cutlet who is 99% fat and 1% meat, and he just wants to convince people that he's still good to eat, and so he covers himself in sauces all the time so he doesn't get thrown away. And weird that he wants to get eaten but not thrown away, but these are also sticker flakes. These are little clear sticker flakes, and I, I love him. Look at this. They're like, here, have some soy sauce. We'll put a little soy sauce on you. Those are the more, more, <laughs> there are more different little Sumiko Garashis, and... <laughs> There he is. He just left over at the end of the, the end of the meal on the plate because he was too fatty. Ah, oh, I love it. What are these little guys? I don't know who these little guys are. They're not the, they're not the, they're not the Sumiko Garashi I, I, I expected. But there we go. Some more. Yeah, very fun. It's not all pork cutlets. Just mo mostly pork cutlets. These are actually two of the plushes I have. <laughs> this is Ebby Fry, the fried shrimp tail, who is friends with the pork cutlet, whose name I cannot think of off the top of my head, and whose name is not on the uh, sticker here or on the um, uh, the information. Well, that's too bad. I cannot remember the name of this. I'll put it. I'll put it down here in a comment. But Ebby Fry is definitely the the shrimp the shrimp tail. And they are pals. All right, I am absurdly happy with these silly little Sumiko Garashi uh, pork cutlet boys. Uh, I love them. And um, I am very happy about that. So let's put them back in here. I'm going to put little pork cutlets on everything. If they had had more of these uh, in the stock, like if they had had more of the like Ebby Fry or anything like that, I would have bought more of these. This is also, I think, six bucks probably. Yeah, six bucks. So 100% worth it. Uh, I love them. I think there's 50 of them in here is what this is saying. 
which is a lot. It's plenty. Love it. All right, what else do we have here? Uh, more stickers. Yeah, look, I may have gone a little crazy with stickers, but also I don't care. These are Mr. Paper bronzing stickers from the with post office stamps. This was five bucks for this set of stickers. These are, again, sticker flakes. But these all kind of look like postage stamps. They're not going to fool the post office or anything. They're not like a fraud. But they are these beautiful um, foil and paper stickers, which... Uh, I think are really attractive. I am always a fan of this kind of thing. Whenever I get them from Sticky Club or wherever else, I'm always very happy with them. Uh, and there are a bunch of different varieties. As you can see, they're uh, like a paper sticker on top with the foil. And on the back, that's covering up the sticky stuff. It's got a nice plastic bit on the back. So, yeah, very good. Oh, there's mushrooms in here. We got some trees. Uh, I, love a, I love a good mushroom sticker. I don't know why, but I really like them. Uh, I'm not a big like, mushroom eater, but I do like seeing them in nature. They make, me, they make me happy. There's a bird looking all jaunty. Yeah, beautiful. Love them. These were five bucks, so a buck less, which is weird because these are all uh, really pretty. And also they have the foil, which I would think would you know bump the price up a little bit, but it does not seem to have done so. Uh, and there are a bunch of these, a bunch of varieties of this uh, Mr. Paper bronzing sticker stuff. Does it say how many there are? 40, probably? It's probably 40. So yeah, lots of those uh, at a few cents a sticker. Totally worth it. And lastly, uh, the paper I got, which I probably should use for testing inks, but I didn't think about it. Oh man, it got smushed. That, that kind of sucks, but whatever. It's gonna get smushed in my bag anyway, I suppose, when I carry it around. But uh, not the most picturesque thing. They did ship it in a soft envelope from Hong Kong, so I am not uh, terribly surprised that something got smushed, but that's, you know, that's okay. This is a Marman Crokey pocket sketchbook. 100 sheets, this was eight bucks. And I really like the Mormon croquis paper, which should be no surprise because I love every Mormon paper I've ever gotten, I think. They're really good. This feels a little bit different from the other croquis uh, papers that I'm used to, but I thought that this binding would be fun. It's an interesting size, which would be good for like small correspondence and that kind of stuff, or maybe even just long correspondence. There's a hundred pages here. Let's try out some uh, fountain pen inks on them right quick. I bet it's gonna perform well. Uh, at least I really hope it does. <laughs> All right, a bevy of fountain pens here. I can tell by the texture that this ink is, or this paper is gonna be very good for ballpoints and all sorts of other things that you might want to put on it. Uh, let's see how it held up with fountain pen ink. Yeah, beautifully. Uh, some show through because it is a fairly thin paper, but no bleed at all. No uh, feathering, no spreading, uh, nothing bad. The shimmer shows up. I'm starting to see some sheen develop on this one. Are you dry yet? No, you're not dry yet. <laughs> this one takes a long time to dry. Also, it's a big music nib and it sort of puts down a lot of ink, but you're seeing some sheen develop on that one. So it will show shading and sheen, I think. Yeah, I'm seeing some shading and sheen up there on the Vinta Pomata Brown, my very favorite brown. I love that ink. Yeah, this is good. I am quite happy with this. Uh, aside from the smooshed corner, which, you know, whatever. I guess it was avoidable if they put in a box, but also it was free shipping and I'm not gonna complain about the smooshed corner of a notebook that I would have smooshed the corner of myself very quickly. So uh, there you go. This has been a fairly eclectic group of things uh, united with uh, united by their overall uh, cuteness. And I am, uh, I am pretty psyched about that. So thanks for joining me on this little trip through uh, fun and interesting stationary products. I love finding stuff like this. If you have a favorite store that you haven't seen me do an unboxing from, uh, let me know in the comments below who I should be looking at and what kinds of things I should look at from them because uh, this was a store I had never heard of before and Audrey found it and I'm super glad she did because darn are these things super cute and fun and there's a lot of pens and stuff over there too that I didn't get because I kind of I have a lot of I have a lot of pens so um, I had a bunch of those but these I didn't have these were new to me so very exciting all right thank you very much I will see y'all in another video uh, like comment subscribe hit that bell do all the YouTube things and uh, that's it peace out